This is a video guide to understanding the Conversation API's fallback mechanism. We will go over what the fallback mechanism is, how to set it up, how to configure the channel priority, and when it triggers. Message fallback is a built-in mechanism in Conversation API, which automatically allows messages to fall back to another channel if the first one fails. This will always be enabled when working with multiple channels and can be configured to fit your needs. Let's see how to set it up. To utilize the fallback mechanism, we will first need to configure two or more channels on our app. Next, we can create a contact that includes all channel identities for each recipient. The fallback mechanism will now automatically handle channel switching when necessary. We can specify the channel priority order in several ways. Firstly, through our app's channel order. After setting up the channels, you can choose to reorder to your liking. This serves as the default order and will be used if no other order is specified. Secondly, in the contacts, channel priority. This can have some, or all, the enabled channels and can be configured to the recipient's preferences. And lastly, the message channel priority order. This takes the highest priority and can be used when a specific channel order is required for the message. Once set up and ready to go, messages can be sent using the contact ID and conversation API will take care of the rest. The message fallback mechanism triggers when one of three criteria is met. If retrying the request is unlikely to be resolved due to a permanent error. If the configured message retry duration expires. Or, if enabled, no positive delivery report is received before the configured timeout. All in all, the fallback mechanism gives us both the simplicity and the flexibility to fine-tune the engagement. You can find more about message fallback on our developers and community pages.